Um, I'm actually making this video as an extra video. I'm not sure if I'll be making one tonight, but I'm going to try. I've got a couple of ideas I want to do a video with that are quite funny, so I'll try and make one tonight. Um, but basically, I'm I'm doing this as an extra video um, because I had a comment this morning on from my six number sixteen video from Sussy Catney. I can't pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. Um, anyway, I had I had a comment saying about don't give up the internet. Now, um, I did try to reply in text form, but it was just so long winded. It was just ridiculous. So I thought, oh, I'll do a video. Fair enough. So here it is. Um, basically. There's quite a few reasons why I'm giving up the internet and it's been building for months now and over the years I've got into really bad habits and a lot of the bad habits are because of man-made things um, things in life that we don't need but we enjoy now I'm not saying I'm not going to enjoy the internet I am but when they take over your life and affect lots of areas of your life then you have to say to yourself what's going on you know I've got to sort this out so anything that basically stops you from doing what you should be doing you've got to look at that and say hang on this is not good now I know that if I have the internet in my house I will just go on it like I'm on it now you know I, I Every five minutes, I'm like, have I got messages? Someone commented to my blog. Has someone subscribed to my channel? Um, and it's just ridiculous. I mean, why can't I just wait and allow myself one or two hours in the evening when the kids are in bed? And, you know, I end up just... I mean, I have cut it back, actually. I used to go on a lot more. I mean, I used to come home from school, put the computer on. You know, kids would need me, and I'd be like, hang on, hang on, I'm doing this, do 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 and they're like, but mummy, we just want to, you know, and I'll be like, be quiet, be quiet, I'm doing this, I'm talking to this person, or I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a message, you know, and I thought, no, that's not right, I, my children need me, my children so need me, my husband died two years ago, as some of you may know from my channel, it, it does say I'm a widow on there, and, you know, we've learned a lot, and he, he was quite young, and it, it was obviously a shock to our family, but you know, I'm I'm I have a deep faith, and it is way deeper because of it. Um, and I just believe that, you know, there's a reason why he went. I I, I personally have my own um, deep feelings about that, and lots of prayer and reflection has sort of answered some questions for me, and so I'm satisfied, you know, um, with that. But I obviously he's not here, so um, you know I. I mean, when he was here, bless him, he was like, oh, he's such a lovely man. And I was so blessed to have him. You know, I just thank God I did have him because I knew love that some never, ever experienced, you know. And, you know, I could have been different while he was here, but I wasn't. I mean, he loved me, which was just wonderful. He loved me. And there were lots of things I wanted to be slimmer. He loved me as I was. And I wasn't particularly as big as I am now when he was here. Um, I, w I was at one point, and then I lost weight, and then obviously I put it back on. But um, and he just loved me. He loved me as a person, and you know the love I had from him was just—it's just amazing. I've always had that memory. I'll always have that knowing that I was truly loved unconditionally by this man, this wonderful husband I had, who's the father of my four children. You know, and. They need me. They, you know, they're they're eleven, ten, seven, and six, and they're young. They're great kids, absolutely great kids. They're, they're obviously blackguards at times. You know that means naughty. If some of you don't know what blackguards mean, um, um, and they they are they're blackguards, but they're great. They're great blackguards. <laughs> but they, you know, they need me. They need me to to show them how to look after their bodies, how to look after. Now, in this world, yeah, we've been, all the things we need, we've got, we've got, we get, we, we are provided for. The things we don't need is what stops us getting the things we need, if that makes sense. So, for instance, we have enough money if we, if we cut out the things we don't need, we have more than enough. But because of the things that we don't need, we think we need we end up 
um, thinking we haven't got enough. Now, I see what I mean. Um, basically, I pay for... I, I, I had some money because insurance because my husband and everything, yeah? So that's gone now. And I'm not looking for um, sympathy or anything like that. I'm just trying to explain why I have to give up the internet. Another reason. There's so many reasons why I have to give up the internet. And one of the reasons is um, I'm now a widow, obviously, I'm on benefit, but I'm doing a, a course, um, I'm doing a course in college, I'm on my third stage and I love it and I'm doing really well and it will lead to a really good career and it's something that I'm really inspired and feel um, passionate about and I feel I'm being guided to do this and it's a, it's basically a counselling course and I'm going to be a counsellor at some point and I just love it and I've learned so much about myself through it and I just know that I'm going to be able to help other people in the future with the way they think about things, the way they, you know, just in their life. And I just know I'm going to be able to help them help themselves. And it's just, it's just, I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, um, because of that, I'm a student. I can't work at the moment um, because I've got to take kids to school. I haven't got, unfortunately, I've got some help, but I haven't got, sorry, I'll just have to pick up the tissue on the floor. A um, bit of exercise there, but there you go. Um, I haven't got a huge amount of help, but that's fine because that makes me stronger. You know, sometimes it's hard, but I just have to get on with it. You know, at the end of the day, this is this is it. I've got to get on with it. And they basically um, need me to pick them up. I pick, I drop one off. I drop one off, come home. Drop the others off, come home. Go on the internet. Um, do maybe a tiny bit of housework. Have my lunch. Go back on the internet quite often. Deal with bills, or whatever. Then go back, pick them up, pick the other ones up, come back. Sometimes go on the internet, have a cup of tea, put dinner on. Um, then maybe sort of shout at the kids because by then I'm stressed because they're trying to get my attention and I'm not giving it to them because I'm on the internet. Um, then I basically um, get them, we do say prayers before they go to bed. Obviously, they have a bit of computer time sometimes, they have TV time or whatever. Um, then we say our little prayers and we, we get them off to bed. Some go to bed earlier, some are later, and it's just up and down. It's busy, 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 busy. But in between the busy, busy, I'm on the flipping internet, right? Now, I love it going on the internet. I love it so much. And for me, it's like my release. But it's not a healthy release because it's taken over what I should be doing. Now, what I could be doing is I could be out on my bike that I've just got. I could be swimming. I could be cleaning my house up, which I definitely need to do because I need to sell it because I need to move, which is another story. Um, there's so many things I know I could be doing and I want to do, but it's like this internet is like a big bind around my neck. You know, this computer I've got is like holding me down, stopping me from being what I should be. And so um, I'm not saying the internet's going to go and never come back. But last year, I felt I had to get rid of the telly because I was watching too much telly. I was watching telly all the time. And I got rid of it for three months, and our lives changed. It changed our lives. Now, I've got the telly back, but because because I got did without it for three months, I got used to not having to put it on. and So now I, I don't hardly watch telly. Now, I want to do that with the internet. I want to get rid of the internet, go to the library, which is I can cycle to the library. It's in within about half a mile from where I live. Um, so I can have two hours, an hour if I want. Some days I might go on an hour, sometimes two hours. And I'm going to treat myself to that if I've done my exercise, if I've done my various other things. But I will be on and I will be making videos if I can. And sometimes I'll take my computer out to my brother's house. He said I've got a key to his house. You can come in whenever you want. And I can just take my laptop around and have a day of just chilling as long as I've done all my other things. So I'm not going, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for the long haul. I need to lose this weight. I need to do this blog because it is really helping me in this moment. You guys are really helping me. But um, look at me, I'm really tired. I'm going to go and have a sleep now because I was up to 2 o'clock in the morning on this internet. I mean, I should be going to sleep because I got up at 6 this morning. So this is why I have to give it up. It's just ruling my life and I can't have that. So um, I will be on, but it, it's just going to be in moderation, okay? So take care, guys. I still try and do a blog as often as I can. And just I look forward to just sharing this journey with you because we really can do this and we're going to do this together. And I will help as many as I can. And I'll reply as many to many messages as I can if you leave a message. 
Anyway, take care. God bless and be happy because you're worth it. Take care. Bye.